Hey you guys, it's your girl Shanice coming to you guys with a video. I'm in my room. I know, excuse me. I know you wonder like, girl, dang, when did you get there? Anyway, yes, I came here on the 12th. I had contractions, kicking my butt. They stopped. But that Friday, I had an appointment. I was not dilated. But Tuesday, I went to my appointment. This Tuesday on the 13th. And I was dilated. I was two and a half. And I was 50% thin out. So I came yesterday. Because um, I started contracting all day yesterday. Started actually contracting after my appointment. But then they stopped. <laughs> but then I started contracting yesterday. All day. From like. I know Ricari was trying to get me up. I made her lay down with me for a couple of hours because I was very tired. And once we got back up, like, I started feeling contractions in my belly. A lot of them. Like, they was just hitting. So, I got downstairs because my mom's, my mom is in town. And I told her, I said, yeah, these contractions hit me. So, I get um downstairs and they really started taking off around 12.30. One o'clock. So, God bless you. So I tell my um mom. My husband calls around like one thirty, and I tell him because he was on his break. I'm like, okay, you get off at six. I'm not gonna call you home. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm not gonna call you home. I just wait till you get off. So I text him. I'm like, I text him. I'm like, are you on the way? Are you on the way? By the time he got out, he wasn't here yet, but he finally got there, and he can see how much in pain I was. I said, when you got here, I was gonna even, I was gonna hold out even longer. No, could not. So I'm gonna put her in her bed in a minute. But I'm gonna let y'all see what she looks like. That's what she looks like. Kind of like Ricari to me. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I get here and they check me. I am a, between a four and a five dilated and I was 60% dilated. I mean, 60% thin out. So I had to sit there and take some IV fluids and the other doctor, the midwife actually came in and she Check me again. She said, you like a five. Excuse me, y'all. Because y'all know I'm not going to be able to do this video when I get home. I'm being too busy. Um, um, she will be formally fed this time. Just let y'all know. Um, I did give her a little bit of my titty. Just to see if she get her latch game right. So, she did. And it helped her latch on this bottle they have. So, she was on my breast for about five minutes, and then that's when she latched. She got off my breast, and then she latched. Actually, 10 minutes. Why am I giving myself less? It was 10 minutes, and then she drunk the bottle, like, a lot quickly, and I burped her good three or four times already. So, anyways, yes, Um. so I get here. And, y'all, I'm thinking they're going to send me home because the way the girl was talking. She was like, oh, no. She said, I'll let her know you are in, like, pain, pain. And it ain't no fake contractions. They they hit you. So, she come in. I'm a five. And I'm 60% thinned out. I get over here. And they give me some type of pain medicine in my arm just to give me probably, like, 15, 20 minutes of sleep. Baby, I start feeling Riera. Her name is Riera. I almost called her Ricari. <laughs> I start feeling Riera, honey. That girl right there. They came and fell my belly. They said, oh, yeah, she done moved down more. And I had to get an epidural. I got one. And y'all, I know everybody was like, oh, I did it natural. Y'all don't understand. It hurts you worse when you don't get one. I'm dead ass. I was able to get up out the bed. They thought I was going to be wobbly. 
I was able to jump up and down and put on the little panties they gave me. And they was like, oh, my God. Okay. So, I mean, for everybody, Eric, some people don't believe in, I guess they calling it poison. But even the doctor was talking when um, she was um, fixing me up. I didn't have no tear. I didn't bleed at first. I didn't, do, I didn't bleed through the um, delivery. I didn't start bleeding to after the fact, after she pulled out the placenta or whatever. And my bleeding ain't even bad. And I don't have no blood clots or anything. So, um, yeah. So I get back here. Let me get back to that. I get back here. And they check me. She checks me again. I'm like, oh, I'm starting to feel a little pressure. She's like, you're a seven, eight. So then she's like, you ready to get your epidural? I was like, yeah. Because the doctor wanted me to hold out a little bit before I got it because my body wouldn't work. Y'all, I got that epidural. That's when my water broke on his own again. So, um, what happened? Oh, after I got the epidural, it probably wasn't a good 10, 20 minutes. I was ready to have this baby. Um, and the doctor was saying that. She said, I love how when some moms, you know, know to get the epidural, like, they can tell when they need it because it actually really helps the body, like, go through labor like it's supposed to. Because the most I was like, people be thinking just because you get epidural, it's not natural. Y'all, y'all still having the baby natural. It's still coming out your vagina. That's what makes it natural, okay? So, um, so, um, yeah, and I, um, pushed out, I actually had to push, push this time, y'all, pushed, I had to push a good four or five times, yes. and, um, once I pushed, that was four or five times, she came out, with Ricari, I didn't even have to do that, my baby girl fell out. Like, barely a push. So, um, she's 8 pounds, 5 ounces. Ricario was 8 pounds, 5.1 ounce. And she was 21 and a half inches. Riera is 20 and a half inches long. Um, so, yeah. She was born on the 15th at 1.15. Can you believe that? I had this girl at 1.15, so I got here around 7.30, finally got back in this room around 9, I don't even remember what time I got an epidural, but after that, it seemed like the contractions got worse when I finally got an epidural, they was going like off the, um, the scaling thing, it was saying like 18, 118 plus. I was like, oh my God, thank God I got a, I got an epidural because I would have not been able to hang in there. Y'all was starting to die, and it was hitting 100 even. But when I got the epidural, it seemed like it made every, like my body, I think my body was like very tense. So once I got the epidural, it like calmed my body down to be able to do everything it needed to. So I basically delivered on my own. I didn't get no Pitocin. I just got two different pain medicines, and that was it. And there's nothing wrong with getting the pain medicine, y'all. This is number six, and it's normal. And y'all need to understand that I was doing a natural with no epidural. Isn't always a good. I don't care what this, what you think the side effects is. My legs got numb. I feel good. I can walk around. When I didn't get epidural with my first two children, I was bleeding with my first child for six weeks straight. My second son, I was bleeding for like four weeks, but, no, more like three, but I was breastfeeding him fully, so that's probably why I, I um, stopped bleeding, but when I got up with with these last um, four children, I didn't have that problem, I was fine, I was able to get around, but with reason, for some reason, my back hurting so bad, I don't expect at this time, so... Yeah, because this guy is very good. He did my my epidural last year, and I was totally fine after having Ricari. <laughs> so, I feel good after having this little beauty. 
And yep, she like her big sister. <laughs> so, anyway. Yep, so I won't be breastfeeding. Personal choice. I gave her a little bit of it for about 10 minutes. But it's a personal choice. I have other children to take care of, and it is really time-consuming. Um, breastfeeding is amazing. We only probably got like one to three children, and that's it. Maybe even four kids, and that's it. But not when you have a whole bunch like we do. I mean, I was able to breastfeed with Caria, but it was hard. The children, I had to wait a certain, I don't have help. I don't have backup. I don't, my husband is my only help. My mom is my help because she came to town. She's here for a month. But other than that, um, yeah, I don't have no serious help. And this is the first time she's ever stayed a month long. And because um, she know we really need help because my husband, he's taking off today. And that's it. And he is, he's off tomorrow, but he'll be going back to work. I think the day we go home, I'm not sure. If I'm going home Friday, so I'm going home Friday, then, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what they tell me. But I didn't even get to finish braiding my hair, y'all. It looks very raggedy. My hair is dry. I need to oil it. I need to get some mousse and all that. But, y'all, I got a cold and, like, Three days. Hold on, y'all. What are you doing? I shouldn't be holding her. But I did just see her that formula, so I get a little scared of that formula, so... That's the only reason why she getting help, and now she acting like she hungry again. So yeah, so anyway, I'm about to when I get home, probably about two or three weeks, I'm gonna detox. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. Give my body enough time um to you know heal and rejuvenate. So. I don't want to detox, and then I can't go do number two or something, you know. So, <laughs> I'm going to keep you guys posted or whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be back with a video in probably like three weeks, y'all. Um, there's no need to do an update yet on me. I'm giving y'all the 411 and all that right now on me. So, basically, my delivery went great, and... Yeah, I did everything on my own. No one had to break my water. I did it all. But with the help of an epidural, I pushed that heavenly. Don't let nobody tell y'all, especially y'all first time mommies. Don't let nobody tell y'all to do that. I did it, and I regret that my first time. She wants some water's milk, and I'm about to give her some. So, anyway, talk to y'all other people like Ty. And remember to comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, everything bless 26. It's about to go down, down, down in a little bit. Can y'all believe it? I'm about to start losing this weight. Oh, well, I disclosed my weight when I uh, start back. What was my pregnancy weight? So, anyway, and then we'll go from there. And I'll talk to y'all lovely people later. God bless y'all and have a blessed day. Remember, stay blessed. Don't be stressed. <laughs> I'm just so happy she finally came. So she came two days late, you guys. And that's it. Ricaria took her three days. Little stubborn. They be stubborn. They so stubborn, them girls. I don't know why they stubborn. My boys was ready to come home. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.